Hey friends, Mike here, and today I'm gonna talk about an effect that was used quite a lot in the old days. It's called a vocoder, and it's a really cool way to add a robotic sound to your voice. And you can even add harmonies. So let's check this out. So what is a vocoder? Well, let me show you. I have created this vocal track here, and it uh, has no effect on it now, you can listen to it first. This is a test recording. Yeah. Okay, so it's how it sounds now. And uh, let's go to the rack. So this is the vocal track. And let's first right click, add effect, vocoder. Now let me explain what a vocoder does. Basically, it modulates your vocal sound with another sound, most often a synth. So now I'm gonna show you how to con connect all this. First, flip the rack. Disconnect all cables. Then we're gonna connect the vocal. Insert left to modulator input. As you can see, there's a picture of a microphone here. Then we need a carrier signal, which is a synth. So right click, create. Let's go for a subtractor. And it is connected to the right input here. And then we take the output and connect it back to the vocal track. And now when everything is connected right, we can play the voice with the synthesizer. Which is what a vocoder effect does. But first we should make some adjustments to the subtractor sound. So let's flip the rack again. And you want to have a sound that is fully sustained, so Pull this up and this as well. And let through all frequencies by pulling this filter up all the way. Then to be able to play this subtractor, we want to make a sequencer track for it. So right click on it and choose create track. There we have the track and now we can play the vocal. And if I play the subtractor now, you hear nothing because you need to have this track uh, playing as you play the subtractor. So let's hit play and test some notes on the subtractor. Okay, so we can turn the level up on the subtractor. And uh, let's test again, but instead of one note at a time, I will play chords. This is a test recording. Yeah. Alright, so now I have recorded these chords so I can show you some things you can do to the sound with the vocoder. Alright, so the first thing that will drastically change the sound is the amount of bands of the vocoder. If you have it on the highest setting, this is a test recording. It will sound most human-like, and on the lowest setting... It's more like a synth. Another thing you can use is this shift knob here, which uh, works almost like the formant in uh, the Neptune device. Let's listen to it. This is a test recording. And of course, a major part of the sound is the actual synth sound itself. So I have changed the patch here and recorded another line. Let's listen to how it sounds. This is a vocoder effect. Alright, so that's how you can use a vocoder. I strongly suggest that you experiment for yourself. Support me by liking and sharing this video. Add me on Facebook and Google+. And remember... You rock, my friends! Remember to like and subscribe!